go ahead and see it here. It is going to be Icy Mrs. Lucas versus MFA as Isabel. Oh, man, they were both going for some crazy counter picks, I feel like. Uh, and now we're in this weird situation here where we've got a Lucas uh, taking on an Isabel. Uh, both characters going into this, uh, into this game. <laughs> kind of crazy. Isabel's one of those characters where we're kind of... I would say we're slowly seeing a few Isabels uh, kind of coming out the woodworks here just because the character is doing pretty solid. But it's very rare that I do myself encounter an Isabel, honestly. Yeah, no, uh, Isabel and Villager both got some really solid buffs in the most recent patch. Um, a big shout-out to Mr. Zircon, who, I'm, with all jokes aside, makes Isabel look godlike. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Zircon is definitely one of those players that I do. It's the first character, first player that I honestly think of in the Wi-Fi space when it comes to, like, who is the best Isabel. It's like, oh, probably Mr. Zircon with a few other names out there as well. Right, right, right. But yeah, no, uh, right now, players, both players are doing even... Uh, only 2% actually separating the two. Uh, I see Miss going to be able to get back to the stage. No problem. Have to see how he kind of dances around. Oh. Isabel here going to eat that up smash. Not going to die, though. Yeah, usually with, usually with Tether Grasslands, we kind of saw a little bit from Sharp last game, right? Although this is what his quarters, if you guys are wondering. If you guys don't see it on the screen. <laughs> but uh, like we saw, usually a lot when you get a grab with Tether Grabs, it's because you've done enough pressure to have your opponent in shield and to read out a grab here. But that PK fire will stop MFA from that side special. He's able to get the stop. Good opportunity to hold the shield, but unfortunately the spot dodge into the forward smash will seal the deal and then it puts him at even pace. No, that was actually some really, really good patience from MFA there, not getting frustrated uh, or too flustered with the pressure that Icy Mist was trying to apply. And again, as you mentioned, able to take that stock with that forward smash. Oh, okay, I forgot that Isabel has a really good recovery. I thought they were gonna be dead for a second. <laughs> Oh, and she's just able to hop over that down smash from, from Lucas. I'm sorry, yeah, Lucas. It's about the same yeah. S, man, but same same realm. The fourth yeah, no, Started off as a fairly even game, is slowly really starting to fall into Ice Mist's favor here as they continue to apply even more pressure. Okay, went for a little bit of a reverse there on the uh, the PK. Um, what's, it, what's it called? The PK what? PK Freeze? Peak, no, the uh, the down B, I can't, PK Magnet, or Psy oh, Magnet. Oh, Magnet, right? yeah, Psy Magnet. <laughs> I completely had a brain fart, but yeah, a super good stuff. As they applied that pressure at the ledge, they're going to be able to take out that second stock. Uh, Icy Mist with a really, really solid lead. Yeah, I can definitely see why he's going for the pick of Lucas, right? Just because if you were to go Samus, right, you have to worry about Isabel having things like Missile, Bomb Ball, and then even, of course, your Charge Shot. But with Lucas, you don't have to worry about any of that. You can actually kind of do a pretty solid job with the zoning pressure. And Lucas has got some pretty crazy down throw combos and mix-ups as well to boot, especially yeah. when you have to apply enough pressure against a character like Isabel. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned, uh, uh, Lucas can be a, a lot more liberal with trying to throw out these projectiles because like that PK fire, you kind of have to have a good read if you want to pocket that. It, it comes out really quick. It's I'm not saying it's impossible to react to on Wi-Fi, but it's definitely a lot more difficult. Yeah, I agree. A lot more difficult. The one thing that we're noticing too, he's not, oh, good reaction. I was gonna say, that was more of a read than a reaction. Just sensing, okay, I'm at the ledge. This is the obvious choice. I'll go for the, the fishing rod a couple times, but it's always gone for the shorter uh, range of it, not going for the longer range. And I feel like if they actually just kind of match that out a little bit, oh, that's gonna be it. Uh, okay, yeah, that up throw is definitely gonna close that out. But I yeah. feel like if MFA went for the longer fishing, uh, fishing pole at all, probably could have gotten some of those grabs, but uh, either way, it doesn't matter as Icy Miss uh, found those that first stock and then lost the stock back to MFA. And then from there, it didn't even matter. Icy Miss was on a tear, on a rampage as they close out that game one. Is, is yeah. Icy Miss picking random? It looks like they did when we when I saw the initial screen. Hey guys, for those of you guys wondering, strides and join us today. Yeah. Oh, they're both picking random. Yeah, because I know MFA mains Alomar. So I'm like, why is he picking Isabel? And I know Icy Miss plays are they Sam both doing random? Not trainer. <laughs> yeah, not I mean, so I'm like, why is he playing random. Lucas? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think what happened is Icy Miss is playing random throughout the whole tournament, and MFA doesn't want to lose with his main to random, so he's also going random. That or it could just be a friendly, like, hey, you know what? We're both here. I'd like to hope that's a scenario, but <laughs> maybe you're right. I mean, he's been going his main the whole tournament. I don't know why he would suddenly just say, yeah, I'm also going to go random. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this yeah, match. Sure. Right now, uh, I see Mitch just continuing their absolute terror on MFA, building up a lot of damage here, 76% so far. And uh, MFA definitely looks a little uncomfortable with this duck hunt. Yeah, this isn't one of those characters that's really easy to use, like without actually playing them, duck hunt anyway. While on the other hand, Palutena is very simple and very good. 
and also really good at this at fighting this character. So uh, honestly, I'm not sure what MFA can do here to not get blown up <laughs> if he yeah. doesn't know how to play Duck Hunt. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a struggle here. Only getting 39% so far and not really finding too many openings. Yeah, the thing about Duck Hunt is he doesn't have great normals, so he has to rely on his like projectiles to set up things. But Palu has just as good projectiles. See, like he tried to use the gunman there, and he immediately got hit by explosive flame. So I don't know. It's it's very hard to actually get set up because Palu either can reflect or just use her even better projectile to interrupt yours, mm -hmm. and then maybe you just decide to start boxing Palutena, which is usually not a bad idea or not a good idea. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. So far, yeah, MFA is really struggling to get much of anything started here yeah no that's definitely it definitely seems to be the case here icy miss doing a very good job dictating the pace dictating the tempo of this match uh just constantly stuffing out any of mfa's options uh, just not really able to get anything going here mm -hmm. yeah i think the thing that's uh really good for icy miss to get palutena is that i know icy miss is just a really strong thumbnails like player in general mm -hmm. so getting palu in a situation like this on random where he, you don't have to do anything super special. You just keep spacing them out, you know, getting these free punishes, and it'll do really fine. Right, right, right. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I thought MFA was going to get a little bit of something going there, but it seems like they're really just kind of throwing up projectiles, oh. hoping for the best. Icy Miss going to do a good job scoping out that up air to take out that second stock. Oh, MFA almost taking a stock back. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. Beautiful recovery. Okay, second opportunity to get edge guard here. All right, I'm going to be able to get back to the stage, no problem. Uh, gonna get a little more extra credit going, man. MFA is definitely struggling in this randoms game. Yeah. I just think it's very unfortunate that he got Duck Hunt versus Palutena on random. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's just it's, not good luck. That's the thing. is like Duck Hunt is already like such an awkward character. And I, it's definitely not one of those characters you can just pick up and play. Like You have to put work in this character. So that's already an unfortunate situation. But good on MFA being able to find out, uh, find that stock right there. But still, such an uphill battle to climb as Icy Miss has a two, like a whole fresh second stock and then another stock after that. And the way this game has been going, it's definitely not looking good and not looking likely for MFA to take the W. Yeah, he's going to need like the hardest reads of all time and get like some early kills. All easier said than done. But uh, who knows? I, I mean, maybe he'll figure out some duck hunt things in the last stock situation. <laughs> maybe, who knows? I mean, <laughs> it'd be really wild if they just like, hey, you know what? I was actually a duck hunt main the whole time, so watch this. <laughs> uh, it would be, really, be a really big flex, but uh, I mean, duck hunt is just such a weird, obscure character. I, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, even duck hunt mains aren't, aren't very common. That's how difficult this character is to play. I can really only name Raito. Uh, Jackie Peanuts played the character for a little bit. That's that's all I can really name. <laughs> yeah, same. All right, MFA's also, got some decent pressure. Yeah, MFA, unfortunately, he keeps DIing down throw in as well. Oh, he's just gone. Yep, yeah. and uh, <laughs> even with like the nerf on there, yeah, it's still good. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be it for MFA, though, as Icy Miss takes it 2-0 to advance to top eight. Super good stuff. They will be taking on Ashton, the young link, on the other side of winners. Nice, nice. So I'm assuming Icy Miss is going to continue to play random for the rest of uh, the tournament. Uh, I don't know, maybe. 